everybody, this is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, if you're selling a coin and it gets lost uh, with the mail, or if you're buying a coin and it gets lost in the mail, uh, what do you do? Um, who do you insure your coins with? And um, kind of how you go about um, conducting your business so it's beneficial for you in terms of uh, keeping your customer protected and keeping you protected as a seller. And so there's a way to do things in the coin business in terms of selling and buying, and there's things that you shouldn't do. So let me crack this case, uh, let me open this package real quick and uh, show you guys what's inside and uh, give you a little bit of backstory on it. Um, this is a weird story, so stay tuned. So this coin we got from Blake and Christie at Royal Coins Houston. If you're not following them on Instagram, uh, you need to do so. Um, but uh, June 24th of this year, we bought this coin. They had it in the mail for us. We sent them a check, and they sent it off. They're 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 in Houston. They're like 45 minutes away from us, um, from their shop. And so the the package disappeared. And I'm going to show you guys kind of the tracking, uh, tracking what happened with it. It actually went to Atlanta, Georgia. So I don't know what's going on with this package. It actually arrived back at our house on September 9th. We were on the way to the Broken Arrow Coin Show, and I got a notification that said your package has arrived. And I'm like, I haven't tracked the package in like months. So I was kind of confused. And I thought back to the one package that I had lost with USPS, and it was this coin. So. Let's cut it open and show you guys what coin it is. So this is the coin we got in the mail. This is an 1893 Morgan dollar, graded XF45. Uh, you know, it's it's a key day coin, but a little bit harder to find. Um, so, um, what? What we like to do right now is start to look for coins that are a little bit more desirable for a collector. And so this coin kind of met that standard. Um, and the cool thing about this coin is that, you know, it was, about, it was worth about 320 bucks when we, when we uh, wanted to get it in. And we wanted to make, you know, like 25 bucks maybe. But now these coins are selling for like $380. So I guess, you know, waiting was, was a little bit tough. But uh, when you get it, it's worth more than it was uh, a couple of months ago and so uh, let me take this upstairs show you guys the coin and also show you guys a few new coins that we've been getting in recently um, a lot of nice coins and they're all going to be available on our website our link is in our description Hey guys, just made it up to the light box and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about uh, good practices for shipping but also just kind of talk through the crazy ordeal that we had uh, this past this past week with receiving this 1893 in but let me show you guys under the light box what it looks like and give you guys a deep dive on what you should do with your customers if you're selling or if you're trying to buy uh, what things you should try to be looking for. So this is an 1893 Morgan Silver Dollar. Graded XF45. The cool thing about this coin, which I like, is this kind of weirdish, darkish toning to it. It's kind of the circulated color to it um, that I really do enjoy. Um, 1893 with color on it is pretty tough anyway. Um, but let's let's talk a little bit about uh, this coin and what you should do. Um, and so we, me and my brother had a really good conversation about um, caring for your customers and uh, making sure that they're valued and making sure that you have lifelong customers and the way that we ship out every coin is they're always insured no matter what uh, we ask a flat rate for any coin that we ship out I think around four or five bucks or even free shipping um, but we make sure every coin is insured and the reason being is because uh, we want to have that person to have a peace of mind when they when they give us money when they entrust us with their their weekly check or bi-weekly check or maybe they may be just one coin a year that they're able to afford uh, we don't want to hurt them or stumble that uh, they're collecting by us not being courteous and studious um, of of what things we should be uh, on the lookout for um, and as you guys know USPS is one of those companies that are uh, 
not they're government government run basically and they're not too good and they lose a bunch of stuff and they're very disorganized sometimes and so uh they mess up but i have to take in, a responsibility on my end as a dealer and do the right thing no matter if uh, usps is messing up or not and so we just signed up for ship and insure recently and ship and insure basically insures coins and insures coin and things that uh the usps doesn't um and for a long time we uh shipped coins that didn't uh that that didn't wasn't weren't covered by usps's uh insurance policy uh, so we ended up having to send them uh, registered. And registered ends up being around, you know, 25 to $35, which is crazy. Um, but with Ship and Insure, uh, the rates are much lower. Um, they take care of you. Uh, they have a great customer service. Um, and also, I just have a peace of mind um, going out my day when I send them off. Uh, you know, we send out uh, tens of thousands of dollars in sales each month. And so, uh, like I said, when you put that in the box, have, have a peace of mind that uh, everything is taken care of, everything's insured. And that's also a, 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 nice, a nice part for uh, the seller's end or the buyer's end as well. Um, and the reason why I insure stuff is because, you know, it is that little bit of a price uh, reduction for me in terms of sales. And um, it does cost me a little bit more, but I'm not trying to find uh, a once in a once in a lifetime you know sell to somebody i don't want to sell them this coin only and never talk to them again i want to create a relationship i want to uh bring them into the fold of what we're about what we believe what we do who i am as a person and so and that starts with just the smallest things like shipping so you would ship a coin out uh, have it fully insured and if it gets lost you say hey you know no problem I'm refunding your money right now. We're starting a claim, and I am so sorry. This is my fault. Uh, I'm so sorry that it's USPS's fault, but it's also my fault as well. That that uh, you know the place that where I'm at, it, you know, messed it up and lost it, and I'm, and you are valuable to me. And so um, that's something that uh, we want to excel at and have great customer service in, because say the coin does arrive at someone's house and they're happy with it and they were treated right um they're going to know that their money was safe as well in case something happened um if you do all these things correctly you're going to have people that buy from you from a for a lifetime not just one interaction and so um a, a part of that uh buying for a lifetime is being courteous and being responsible for the coin and the money you've been entrusted with like i said so I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that fact, and let's jump into a few more things uh, that we bought this past week. Hey guys, I wanted to take a pause in today's uh, video and thank our first ever customer on the website. Uh, his name is Marcus from South Carolina. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, we plan on uh, expanding the website and offering a lot more things for you guys, so uh, feel free to stop by there uh, anytime to check out what we have. But next, I want to show you this really cool uh, Morgan dollar that we just got in. This is an 1888 Morgan uh, dollar that's been toned. Um, it's a low BU. Um, it's a very pretty coin. Uh, super, super attractive. Um, I love the nice greens and purples and blues on it. Um, the coin is uh, pretty beat. does have a pretty big scar on the on the face. I think it's a MS61 or an MS62 coin, but I want to thank J&J &J Coins on Instagram for providing this wonderful piece um, to maybe one of you guys, but uh, I really want to thank him for giving me an opportunity to buy it. Uh, most of the time, you don't want to fit something like this maybe in a PCGS sub, but instead uh, you want to send it off and put it in like a dance go or uh, something that uh, people are capital holders. So a lot of people like to put these in different capital holders um, just to kind of show off their tone collection. But uh, it's a pretty unique coin. It has some cool die breaks on it too. Um, but yeah, let me just show you guys uh, the next one. So this next one I got uh, from a buddy as well on Instagram. Uh, this is an 1898S, which is a pretty tough date um, in 62. Uh, it's got some toning on it, uh, kind of peripheral toning on it. Um, it's a little bit flashier uh, than most of the crusty kind of 
uh, 62s. Uh, sometimes when you get a 62, it's like super dark and starting to fill in pretty weird. Um, but this one has some peripheral toning on it, and I think it, ha it still has some nice luster to it. Um, yeah, this, this coin is something that I'd want to insure, just because I know that uh, when it sells, it's going to be selling for around $485 or something like that, um, that people would want to uh, have assurance that this thing is protected, um, and it kind of meets the requirement of it being a pretty expensive coin. Um, you don't want to lose someone's uh, almost $500 in value, and so um, this is a coin that you would want to use for ship and insure. Uh, make sure, you know, uh, what, I, what I do is I kind of put these in priority envelopes. Um, just because it gets to them quicker, they have a higher satisfaction, and um, you know the coin most likely won't get lost or stolen um, going a quicker route. You know, first class is like you know three to four days, which ends up being five or six sometimes, and priority, you know, it's like two to three days, and that that gives people a little bit more happiness because you know, oh, I just ordered this coin, now it's in the mail, so. Um, and now it's in my mailbox, and I, I apologize, but um, once they get a coin like this, uh, fast, on time, um, in the right condition, um, they are very satisfied with stuff like this. So, uh, thank you guys for letting me show you all these coins, I really do appreciate it. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, uh, I'd recommend leaving a like, commenting what your favorite uh, coin or fact was from the video. Uh, we try to give as much information out as possible every week in all these videos. Um, but I'm, I hope this helped you if you're wanting to start shipping out items or uh, starting to, uh, you know, get, get coins online for your customers. Um, I think that there's a lot of room for everyone to understand and grow in terms of knowledge. And that's the same for me on my end. So if you guys did enjoy it, like I said, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. We create more content every single week. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This has been Drew, and I will see you next time.